ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so we haven't had any 619 in a while, okay? Basically because his ass is sitting in jail. So what's going down with this whole 6ix9ine situation is this. As we all know, 6ix9ine is officially dating this girl named Jade. She's the one who got into it in the club with Cardi B. She was in the Fifi music video. And so ever since then, her and 6ix9ine have been dating. He's bought her jewelry, cars, and everything else. And so the other day, she took to social media to basically post a picture of her visiting 6ix9ine in jail. And in this picture, 6ix9ine is grabbing her ass. They're looking like they're in damn love. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Alright, so you guys just saw the picture of Jade in 6ix9ine. So once that went viral, 6ix9ine's baby's mother, Sarah Molina, she really got into her feelings and she started crying. She wasn't necessarily crying about Jade, but she was just crying about just all the drama that 6ix9ine has put her through, her daughter through, and everything else. She was really, really upset on social media yesterday. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I don't care. I just want my daughter to be good and that's it. There's no reason why I should have to struggle or deal with any of this shit. And that's when it comes down to it, I should have did way more. I should have did way more to fuck this nigga over if y'all really want to think about it. I was too good to him for so long, so it, it don't matter what the fuck I did. Because whatever I do, don't measure up to half the shit he did. And he won't ever speak on that. And this is me speaking on some real shit. So can't nobody speak on me, the type of bitch I am, and my motherhood. Some of y'all need to fucking look at yourselves in the mirror and re be really be like, what the fuck? Like, fuck out of here. You can't nobody speak on me. Because you know what I did? I took care of a nigga. Okay? I held my shit down. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Sarah Molina crying. So this entire situation is really sad. Now I'll say this, it's definitely very, very hurtful. When you put years into a relationship, only for that person to just switch up and change on you. You figure they've been together for seven years. They have like, what, like a four-year-old daughter or something like that. And on top of that, ever since he became really big and became a celebrity, he's been treating her like shit, basically shutting down her Instagram, making it where she can't make any money outside of him. You know, just doing all types of little sneaky shit to her. And she's really tired of it. And on top of that, if you guys don't know, I told you guys a few months ago that he had a baby on the way. Well, the baby was born, I guess a DNA test must have been taken but he now has a little girl and DJ Academics is even acknowledging the new baby's mother and the baby. Talk shit about me, but you could also talk about you could also talk shit about somebody that's staying with a guy that's being cheated on constantly, publicly. I have a whole child on the way with somebody else, and I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not even trying to expose any other females, but there could be possibly more females that are pregnant with his child. So. Y'all coming at me right now. For what? Um, he's my baby daddy too. Yeah. Bitch, you're from Long Island. You know what's crazy? I, I someone DM'd me his doll's address. That bitch is from Long Island, so like I can wait out these what how many months is she like i'm gonna just say nine i'm gonna just say nine because i'm gonna give you a few months with 
your rainbow baby to recover. I will go to your address and fuck you up if you mention me again after you give birth. Because I don't want people to misconstrue this and be like, oh, um, yeah, she threatened to beat me up when I was pregnant. Talk about the child support. Well, the paternity test will be done in a few weeks. That's all I have to say. So I'm sure this is even more stuff being piled on top of what she's going through. She's literally having to watch a man that she was with for seven years get with a girl that he only knew for a few weeks that he met on a damn music video shoot. Basically, he's out here buying her jewelry, flossing her, buying her a G-Wagon. Meanwhile, he's not acknowledging her, doing anything for her. And she's the one who held him down when he didn't have shit. When he didn't have a job, she held him down. She supported his career and everything else. And this is why I tell young girls all the time, we need to get rid of this ride or die chick mentality, okay? That is the problem. Sarah decided to be a ride or die chick and hold him down through all his cases while he was in and out of jail, while he was doing dirt, only for him to basically upgrade once he got famous and this happens all the time and it's very very devastating when that happens to a female it's not okay this is why you need to be ride or die for yourself and be ride or die for god okay stop being ride or die for a man who can just leave you at the drop of a dime when he sees something else brand new another issue that i find with this entire situation is that you know as a minority community because of course they're latino you know black folks know about six nine and everything else it's sad how many people will sit and watch a breakup you know will sit and watch a divorce and then people will run and go idolize the new chick you know this woman was able to get so many followers on instagram based off of her association with 6ix9ine now granted she was already doing her thing on instagram but her getting with 6ix9ine definitely upped her star power and because of that now she's able to get sponsorship deals you know she's able to do all types of things based off of his name meanwhile the baby's mother who done been through all these trials and tribulations with 6ix9ine nobody's following her like that her pages keep getting shut down and meanwhile she's struggling instead of him buying his new girl girlfriend g-wagons and rolex watches and everything else he should have secured that bag for his daughter he needs to make sure that his daughter and his baby's mother who's taking care and providing for the daughter he needs to make sure that they're okay i'm not saying that he's not doing anything for the daughter because i'm sure he's probably giving them something but it doesn't make any sense when you're in a situation when you're not able to make any more money he, it's not like he's out here rapping it's not like he's out here working a you know a nine to five job he really doesn't have any new income coming in so why not be smart with your money why sit in jail and trick your money off on somebody that you only know in a few weeks or a few months it just doesn't make any sense and the saddest thing is that it's going to be the daughter being affected the father's sitting in jail so she's not able to have a relationship with her father i'm sure she's wondering where her dad is and then on top of that her mother is depressed she's crying on social media right now she's dealing with so much stuff that she may not even be mentally capable of taking care of her daughter in the way that she needs to be taken care of because she's probably fighting depression loneliness and everything else so at the end of the day, it's definitely going to affect his daughter. And it's sad that he's sitting here basically, you know, flossing this new girl while she's out free. She's living her best life. Meanwhile, his baby's mother is suffering, okay? But now there's been an update to the story. Now, you guys remember she was saying that, you know, she should have paid him back. She should have did this and that. And so now, um, shout out to Pedro9. He's been giving me all this 6 9 tea. He keeps me updated on 6 9 the baby's mama, Jade, you know, the baby and everything else. So I appreciate you, Pedro for always being in my DM with the latest 6ix9ine um, So basically, 6ix9ine's baby's mother, Sarah Molina, is now posting pictures with 6ix9ine's friend, and allegedly, they're now starting to date. All right, so Pedro sent me an update yesterday because he's been keeping up with this damn story, honey. So shout out to you once again, Pedro. So Pedro's saying um, why everybody was going crazy on social media yesterday thinking that Sarah and 6 ix friend were hooking up. He found some evidence where it looks like they were basically plotting this for attention. Pedro says 6 ix baby's mother, alleged new boyfriend, accidentally exposed the beginning of his IG live, that they're faking their relationship for clout. You can hear his friends say that he's getting ready to screen record it, and this is going on Academic's account. In just a few minutes into the live, the baby mama, Sarah, does appear, and they try real hard to make it look like they're flirting.
this is me and Bay, guys. You know what I'm saying? Don't we look cute? We look alright. I look cute, though. Alright, you look cute, though. Yeah, no facts. Facts. So as you guys can see, it seems like Sarah's trying to do this for attention along with 6 ix friend. And I don't think this is a good look. I don't think that you need to wallow in the mud. It makes no sense to go ahead and date his friend. That just makes you look bad. You know what I'm saying? There's so many guys. She's a beautiful girl. There's so many guys you can date that have no attachment to 6 9 Why start dating his friend? You're not paying him back. At the end of the day, females always think, oh, if I go and fuck my ex-boyfriend's, you know, friend or his cousin, it's going to hurt him. It's not going to hurt him. He's still living his best life. It's going to hurt you in the long run. It's going to mess up your reputation in the long run run so it's never good to you know do stuff based on emotions and based on revenge so she needs to really think about this and stop flossing this guy on social media just to get back at 6 9 that's not the way to get back at him the way you get back at somebody is by being the best you that you can be not letting anybody bring you down you know what I'm saying handling your business and becoming a success that's how you pay people back for down talking you for disrespecting you for leaving you for cheating on you you pay people back by living your best life you don't pay them back with revenge by fucking their friend or you know running through their whole clique that's not payback that just makes you look crazy so this entire situation is a hot damn mess honey but i wish her the best you know what i'm saying hopefully everything works out for her but i think her going down this route it's not a good look so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation once again concerning 6 9 his baby's mother sarah molina breaking down on live only for her to start dating his friend. And then how do you guys feel about Oh So Jade constantly flossing her relationship with 6 9 on social media? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.